the week of rain is progressing, the water tank is slowly filling up, and we've got the generator running because there's no sun for the solar panels and our batteries are dangerously low. So I guess this lifestyle is always a pro and a con. <laughs> our four panels and our four batteries are just not cutting it right now. Something I haven't shared yet, Jack, Hayden's eldest son, has been living with us this year. So that's five of us using this setup. We all have laptops. It's just, it's not working. And it's, yeah, it's, it's struggles when it hits a few overcast days in a row which I kind of find funny because I lived okay on one panel with 390 amp hour battery but I guess when you start thinking about five people, even baby Reese, <laughs> using power I can see why the system's a little bit too small. So we've got a big fridge freezer running all the time that's probably also putting pressure on the system because we've been struggling with water, we haven't actually been using the washing machine much. We've been taking the washing into town and using the public laundromat. Hayden mainly uses his setup to charge his power tool batteries and the water pumps go off and on throughout the day. Plus the odd house light. We do have this beefy, beefy generator to save the batteries a bit. We had the generator running for four hours yesterday morning, but this morning the batteries were sitting at 44 volts, which is damaging them because we've got a 48 volt system and that's very low. So then you're kind of stuck running the generator too much at the moment. Hayden's got the theory that if he goes to bed and it's, the readout is 50 volts, then it's got enough juice to last till the morning. So my brother's decided to get his own system. Funnily enough, the same system Hayden has with the four panels and four batteries from the Grid Free store. And it'll be good because he is planning long term to get his own land and he'll be set then. We dithered about if he needed that much, but it gets pretty overcast here in winters and he'll probably find it useful for the future. The tricky thing with solar is you can't really add batteries later on because the new batteries drop to the same level as the old batteries, so you're kind of damaging your new ones straight away. And I have heard the same thing happens with solar panels, but I'm not 100% sure on that point. Hey chickens, they come to see me. Aren't they big now? Yeah, big chickens. Still not laying eggs though. <laughs> Reese has just woken up, so he's joining us. So there's actually a bit of a waiting list for the grid-free products, so we we won't actually get them till the end of June, so we'll just have to kind of muddle through till then. I'm actually pretty self-sufficient up here with the caravan and the sleep out, because they each have their own solar power setup. The item that draws the most power is the fridge. It actually uses much more than I expected, so my caravan does get into a bit of trouble after a while, so I do end up linking the caravan up to Hayden's generator when he does have it running. The other thing that's going continuously in my little setup is the internet, the Wireless Nation modem. I almost forgot Hayden also has his own Wireless Nation modem running. And then the things running in the sleep out, we've got one light at the moment, still hoping to finish installing the lights in here. And then it's my laptop, charging my phone, charging my camera batteries. And then we've also got a vacuum cleaner and the diesel heater has a little control that is always running too. <laughs> and then we have a caliphant and a light for our little shower area here, which also uses a little bit of power. I kind of ignore 
the reading fall asleep out more than I should. I have been aware that a couple of times it has got a little bit lower than I would like. Unfortunately, the sleep out is currently separated from everything else, so the generator can't charge it. And long, long term, we eventually will have a house and eventually it will have its own solar system. I'm kind of looking forward to it because then I can really check and see what is draining the most power and, and feel like I've got a bit more control over the system. And after just a few solid days of rain, we're actually full already. Didn't take much. And boy do I feel tired. Reese did not toss and turned a lot last night. I feel like I've got the biggest bags. <laughs> Joys of motherhood, right? Night, I feel like I've 